go. So, visited Malparinka, had to turn off, checked it out. Amazing their piece, the places where people have lived in the past. Anyway, all for chasing gold. There you go, that's its history, which I suspect most of these um, really weird outback places are actually settled for. So, um, I'm about, I think about 20 kilometers outside of Tibaburra and um, back on the sealed roads. Uh, I pulled over there for a few photos. Uh, a couple of big wedge tail eagles soaring, sweeping over a kangaroo. Took off from there. Uh, part of me was tempted to sort of see if I could sit around long enough and uh, might pull out the long lens and, you know, throw it a mill. See if I can pick some up. But, um, uh, no. Instead, I'm going to keep moving along. Uh, might have opportunities somewhere else. Um, or not. It's one of those things, I guess. It's a bit of a risk. Amazing scenery, I have to say. Um, the photos, I just will think, will never really do it any justice. And uh, hence why I'm taking some video, hence why I'm taking photos and lots of stuff, because it's always, well, there you go, 20 to Tirubara, Tibabara. Because you know, it'll be like a couple of years down the track, and I'll be forgetting most of where it was and what it was. Oh, there's emus out there. I um, saw a few emus on the way through up before, um, oh, where would it have been? Mount Prinko, what was before that? Pack saddle, and um, there was one emu with I reckon probably five or six chicks below it, like running around under its feet. And I thought that was an awful lot of chicks for um, for one bird. I didn't think they laid that many eggs. Um, so obviously, there's a fascinating story there about how emus raise their chicks, I suppose. Oh, he comes one on the side of the road. Anyway, that's about it. Nearly at um, Tibabara. I might slow down and see if I can get a photo.